<coughs> okay, just thought I'd show you a quick video of uh, a new cordless ratchet I've just bought on Amazon. Uh, the Draper 10.8 volt. Uh, I've not had a battery ratchet before, uh, so let's take a look at it. So let's move the box out of the way. Instructions, don't have them. So the unit itself comes without a battery. That's why we've got the charger and uh, a battery separately. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's just take it out and have a look. Look at that. Okay, looks like a little lock button there. And then uh, there's the trigger. Looks quite all right, actually, for what it is. And some information on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And um, well, obviously you've got a little three-eighths the quarter that comes with it. Let's open that. Got loads of these anyway. But one more always helps. Okay. So let's uh, let's take the battery out and uh, let's get into this bloody filler. Right. Well, there's that again. If you need to see it, get rid of that. There it is. I don't know how much charge is in there, so let's, uh, let's find out. Ooh, look at that. So, got a, obviously got a battery indicator there. And a little work light. And it looks like a, a sensitive type of trigger on it. And it's speed controllable, so I'll press that in a bit more. Uh, I believe this is quite similar to a another brand out there, uh, 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 and it's it's pretty much identical. The other brand advertised it as a twelve volt. This is a uh, ten point eight volt, but uh, it's probably the same to be honest with you. Change the direction there. So. Yeah, it looks actually quite good for what it is. There's the charger. Let's just quickly open that. So yeah, I ordered this on Amazon. Uh, and it doesn't come as a single package. It was uh, by the three items separately. But in total, uh, it was... It was... I think it was about 85 quid for the lot when I, when I bought it. For the three items. Uh, which isn't too bad, really. Yeah, okay, it's not, it's not the quality of, um, you know, Makita, Milwaukee, and all that, and and the higher brands. But you know, uh, for taking little, you know, for smaller jobs, I think it'll be absolutely fine. Instructions, I don't need those. Yeah, pretty standard, basic UK plug, and uh, unclip that. And you whack it in. Battery's about, yeah, I think it was about 18 or 19 pounds or something for the battery. Uh, the way the, the 40, so about 47 pounds for that. And then, of course, the charger. Uh, so at least you could buy some more batteries if you need to. But uh, that's not too bad. Quite, quite compact for what it is. I've seen others that are really bulky for what you get. Uh, but that's not too bad, because if I show you, this is one I've had for a long time, uh, Mac Tools Air one. If you look at that though, for a battery one, it's not that much bigger, to be honest with you. It's not too bad, nicely. So it you, you can feel that that's, that's locked on, actually. Ooh. 
there's no press to release or anything like that uh, it just clips on it's quite solid so you can obviously lock the trigger flip that across and you can't use it anymore right well, we'll just uh, we'll just use the uh, front of the bike just to give a quick demo and the battery is fully charged I'm going to use the two front pinch bolts here at the bottom of the fork these are currently set to 23 newton meters uh, which is what they're supposed to be so I've got the 10 mil fitted let's give it a go little bit of a struggle there on the second one so just put the allen key head on uh, just to give it a try on these two bolts here oh, that was all right on them that's quite straightforward right we're going to try the uh, caliper bolts these two are torque to 39 newton meters, which is what they're supposed to be. Uh, just check that on the torque wrench as well. Uh, so fitted the 12 mil, so let's see what happens. So without any help, purely battery power alone. Right, as you can see, it is, uh, it's not happy with that. Try the top one. Okay, so that's uh, that seems to be struggling with those two bolts, but uh, I guess you could then just give it a bit of a helping hand just by pulling it, loosening it off, and then just taking it off. Help it a little bit. As you saw, it struggled with these bolts. Uh, it was okay on the pinch bolts and definitely okay on the uh, fairing bolts there um so but yeah i think i think for the price and what it is it's not a bad little tool don't expect to take off a clutch or anything with it but for lighter jobs you know either taking off a, a plastic under trays just a thing just kind of general light work or if you just want a screwdriver attachment it's not a bad little tool to have really Peace out.